Hello, my name is Atanas Christosov. I am a systems and network administrator at Stopul. In this video, I am going to show you how we install Stopul in standard servers. In the preparation steps, we make sure that the machines are compatible, they have all the latest and stable firmware, and we optimize the network for storage operations. Then we move on to stress testing the machines to make sure all the hardware is performing at its best. And finally, we will install Stopul on the node and then configure it with the configuration wizard. After this, Stopul will be operational. First of all, there are a few steps that you can do on your own. You can check if all your hardware is in our compatibility list. Using compatible components will shorten the time to production considerably. Otherwise, it would take additional time for us to make sure it works as expected. The compatibility list can be found in the document called Stopul System Requirements on our website. To make the best out of Stopul, please ensure that all hardware has the latest firmware installed. Often older firmwares have been proven to be the cause of severe performance degradation for storage operations and the cause for instability or unpredictable behavior including SSDs, motherboards, HBAs and even switches. Optimizing the network is an essential part for getting the best performance with Stopul. Stopul uses a sophisticated multipathing and failover algorithm that is specifically designed for it. That's why it's best to allow Stopul to handle separate broadcast domains instead of using a bond or other types of aggregation. Jump frames and flow control are mandatory for storage networks. And last, if you are planning to use ATA over Ethernet, it is best to provision an additional LAN for that case, be it a VLAN or additional physical link. Here's where we come in. The following tests are good practice for production servers even without Storpool and specifically on brand new equipment. We stress test and bring the hardware to its limits to reveal issues that were not exposed before and to ensure the long-lasting and uninterrupted operation of the hardware once it gets deployed in production. Some of the issues that we have stumbled upon include unstable SSD firmwares that would cause occasional lag in operations, CPU performance issues resulting from BIOS misconfigurations, defective hardware even when brand new, and many others. After we have made sure that the hardware is in good condition, it's time to install and configure Stopple on the server. Here we install Stopple on CentOS 6.6. .6. This will install Stopple on the machine, but will not start it yet. Once installed, we run the configuration wizard. The wizard reports that Apple repository is not enabled and that there are missing packages. So we enable Apple and install any missing packages before letting the wizard take over. We generate a report again to make sure we have not missed anything. Here the wizard asks if it can update the kernel command line parameters with a few that will optimize the performance of Stopul. Once these steps are complete, the wizard has to reboot the node to apply the new configuration. We choose to create a new cluster and choose an IP for the cluster. This is the management IP for the whole cluster and is operational even in the case of some nodes being down. We choose the interfaces that are to be used by Stopul. We choose to let Stopul use four cores of the machine and select the disks that are to be used by Stopul. Before starting any Stopul services, we check everything is fine by the last report the wizard generates. This time all the issues are resolved and Stopul can be started. The last thing we need to do is add the disks in placement groups so that Stopul knows how to use them. Expect more on placement groups in a later video.
Once a placement group is configured, I can start creating volumes and using them. After a volume is created, I can attach it to a node. And it acts like a normal block device. We now have only one node and to form a valid cluster we need at least another two. So we perform this procedure for the rest of the nodes that are going to participate in the cluster. To learn more about the procedure and the concepts described in this video, you can contact us at support.stopple.com. Thank you for watching.